Greetings once again, spacefaring adventurers. Tuesday's Den back again was another chapter of Eden Zero, where previously the chronophage continues to disperse little bits of itself into the final galaxy, where it's causing mass destruction, planet after planet falls to the many chronophages, all the while Mother continues to disappear, as the allies of the Eden Zero can only dodge for their lives or look on as Mother fades away. The Chrono Witch who managed to down Shiki even goes so far as to show him the events that are going on with his friend. But this gives Shiki the willpower to go into his overdrive state in order to fight back. But the Chrono Witch inside the Chrono Phage does so as well, entering an overdrive of her own, managing to knock down Shiki and readies to unleash a power that she equates to the Big Bang itself. It's the power of creation about to be unleashed right in Shiki's face, but gravity still has to be added to the equation. Can Shiki muster up enough power in order to survive a blast with enough power to create an entire solar system? Or is Shiki's time up? Join me as I find out, won't you? Alright, Eden Zero, Chapter 288. If we could be friends. Hmm. Is he gonna try to befriend the chronophage? And it's Rebecca hanging out with sister in Moscow. A. Wonder what the A stands for. Arrivederci? I mean, this is chapter 5. Chapter 1 of the last 5 chapters of Eden Zero. What could you spell out with A in 5 chapters? I don't think other letters were on different pages. I'm not sure, huh? Alright, well we pick up with the chronophage. You know rampaging like it do, and inside the chronophage, we see Shiki still facing off against the chrono witch, readying her big bang attack, as Shiki can only shield his eyes from the very light of creation as it were, as the chrono witch raises her hand looking very much like Frieza, and the energy continues to emanate from her imminent attack, she tells Shiki, I will grant an amount of energy equal to that of the birth of the universe, I will generate an amount of energy equal to that of the birth of the universe, thus everything in this universe will vanish and be created anew. Shiki tries to call out, don't do it. Doing that won't help you. We still won't be saved. You still won't be saved. The Chrono Witch turns to him saying, I do not seek salvation. But Shiki tells her, yes, you do. You do want to be saved. I heard you. You said you wanted your time back. The Chrono Witch tells him, my time is not coming back. But Shiki shouts out, no, there has to be a way. You have enough power to make it happen. Stop doing this. You have to save mother, please. The Chrono Witch addresses Shiki saying, I have devoured your mother many times. It is an unusual planet. I eat it to return it to its planetary form. And then it has become mother again. Shiki screams, please try again. One more time. Then I promise we'll find a way to save you too. Chrono Witch simply says, I'm not interested. Ah. And the entire chronophage itself begins to glow in ethereal shine. Ooh, and everything in the light's wake begins to dissipate more and more. Shiki readies an attack saying, in that case, I'll make you interested. And energy starts to well up in Shiki's hand. This manages to catch the attention of the Chrono Witch as more and more power starts to flow into Shiki's hand. Is, is he also about to create a singularity? Oh, he's taking it. The Chrono Witch says in surprise, but how? My power. And as she looks to Shiki's hand, she realizes, saying, it's falling, falling into him. As Shiki steals away the power of the Big Bang from the Chrono Witch, Shiki calls out, that's the power of gravity. Well, the witch says, it's not possible. Which, I mean, yeah, from a technical standpoint, that shouldn't be possible, but, eh. Then again, what do I know about science? The witch tells him, if you absorb that much energy, your flesh will be destroyed. And Shiki just calls out, So what if it is? Much to the shock of the witch. He says, I don't care even if it costs me my life. I will save this universe. This is the universe that has all my friends. And Shiki steals away all the power right in his hand. The Chrono Witch screams, You're just a lowly human. While the energy just starts to surge through Shiki. And he screams out almost as if he was being torn apart. The Chrono Witch goes into attack Shiki 
screaming, I will tear you to pieces. Ashiki, he clenches his fist, saying, this lowly human is going to change the world. And suddenly, gravity shifts beneath the Chrono Witch. She questions, what, what is happening? I'm floating in midair. Ashiki then creates a massive well of gravity and energy that consumes the witch. And it just <laughs> hits her like a friggin' massively sized ball of lead falling upon her, causing a massive crater to form. Huh. And in a moment very similar to when Shiki took down the king in Grand Bell, Shiki lays into her, beating her down through the gravity itself. And suddenly, oh, this is how he's doing it. The chronophage is propelled forward, zipping along like a comet. Pino catches sight of it, saying, is that? And Rebecca sees it too in shock. Ziggy questions, the chronophage? Rebecca turns to Happy, saying, Shiki did it. He brought the chronophage. And Happy saying, aye. <laughs> but as they notice how fast it's coming in, Ziggy says, it's gonna eat us too. Let's get out of here. And as they move, the chronophage nears mother. And Shiki commands the chronophage's jaws to open. As he says, you know, I think I can be friends with you too. And the chrono witch says nothing. As Shiki causes the chronophage to consume mother. Ah, typical Shiki tactic. He's gonna find a way to befriend you. <laughs> Even if reality itself has to change, it's gonna be you. Might be another version of you, but he'll find a way to befriend you. Not me. I will say, I'm not as hyped as I had hoped I would be once we got to the finale, but I am, as I've said many times, easing into the thought that we're coming to a conclusion. It's just that, I don't know. I was a little bit more hyped when I was at the conclusion of Rave Master and Fairy Tale. And while this hasn't been bad, I do hope the anime makes some alterations, cause there's just, I don't know, a few things that I wish we could have saw in terms of those final fights. Cause when I'm left really questioning, is Void and the Eden Zero really gone? It's like, uh, the conclusion didn't feel epic enough for me. I don't know. This is one of the few times I wish things were just built up a little bit more, but I don't want to make it seem like I hate where things are going. This is a good enough conclusion. No ass pulls, no BS, the fights were good enough, it's just they could have been a little bit better. But everybody got one last moment to kind of shine and I at the very least appreciate that. And now, four chapters left. Huh, how does this all resolve? I'm really left wondering. Because Shiki said he wanted to destroy the chronophage, but now that he knows there's someone to be saved, how will he do it? And with his mother consumed, what does that mean too? She'll be reversed in time, but only up until the point where she was about to turn. Is Shiki somehow gonna save Earth? before its final moments come to pass as well? I mean, I, I, even then, I still not clearly, I'm not, still not clear on what happened to everybody on Earth in their final moments. How was it that Shiki was the only one to live up until Mother became Mother? There's still a few questions that I feel need to be answered, so hopefully we'll get them. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you feel like I do? Or do you feel like we're reaching a satisfying climax for everything? I wanna hear from you. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride, Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I've been Deuce This Din, and I hope to see you later. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.